you're watching Gears. Brought to you by Holly Performance Products. Fuel your passion. And Cornwell Tools, the choice of professionals. In the early 1950s, America was thriving. After the bleak years during World War II, the 50s brought a sense of excitement and hope that the nation desperately needed. And people celebrated. By having kids. <laughs> A lot of kids. So by the late 1950s, energy-driven teens were racing their so-called hot rods down the streets for money and bragging rights. Car clubs were springing up everywhere and creating a dangerous culture that quickly became the target of politicians and local cops. Clearly, something needed to be done to channel all that energy safely off the street. But instead of just converting an old airstrip or dry lake into a racetrack, the city of Long Beach decided to build a track specifically for this new sport called drag racing. And when the local Lions Club volunteered to help raise the $45,000 needed to build it, the decision was made to call it Lions Drag Strip. And in that humble beginning was the start of what would become arguably the most influential racetrack in automotive history and a perfect playground for young hot rodders. But to tell the story of Lions isn't easy because it closed in 1972. Fortunately, there was a young guy named Rick Lorenzen who was so influenced by Lions as a kid that when he grew up, he decided he was gonna build a massive museum in Long Beach with the history of Lions inside of it. Here's the story. We wanted to live our youth. Yeah. And that's what this is all about. Oh, you're definitely doing it. Yeah. You're definitely doing it. And, and this, this is America as we yeah. know it. Of course, every playground needs a top dog to make sure it runs properly. And into that role was the charismatic Mickey Thompson, a man that was not only a record-setting racer himself,